Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, I will showcase the new modern card control experience in Canvas Power Apps. This card control makes it very easy for us to build card-like experiences with different properties that allow us to build dynamic responsive cards. I will showcase all of this in the form of demos and more. So let's check this video out in action. The new modern card control in Power Apps. Use a card when you want to show a concise overview of an item with optional imagery and text. To add a card control, insert, we have the card control. If you don't see this, one, make sure under settings and app updates, modern controls and themes are turned on. Card is a modern control. Second, make sure your app authoring version is set to this or above this. If you need to change your app authoring version, simply click on edit and change the authoring version and apply it. Let's explore the properties of the modern card control. Direction determines whether the card layout is vertical or horizontal. Then we have title. This is the header, title, text. I'll update the title to modern card control. Subtitle. Supplemental text displayed under or beside the title and the header. I've added my subtitle. Description. Description text displayed below the header of the card. I'll add a description. And there's the description text added to my card. Image. This is the main preview image for the card. So at this moment, if you notice the image property is set to the sample card image. That's why it has this image to begin with. I can set this to none. The value is empty, so there's no image. I can pick from any of the stock images or I can also upload an image of my choice. Image placement. Is this image placed before the header or after the header? I'll move it back to before. Image style. Right now it's trying to fill the entire space. I can ask it to fit. So based on the dimensions of the image, it will fit. Stretch, center or tile different options to play with. Header image, small avatar or icon displayed in the header with the title and subtitle. I can change this, pick any of the stock images or upload an image of my choice. If we head over to advanced, accessible label, header image accessible label, image accessible label, and more. These cards are clickable. So under advanced, we have an on select function. Here I'll use the notify function to provide a message. So whenever the user clicks the card, it will fire the on select event. Under display behavior, display mode controls whether the card is interactive, meaning editable, View, so at this point it's not clickable or you can completely disable the control. Visible, whether you want to show this card or not. And under styling and theming, we have border radius. I've set it to 25. So you can see the curved edges around the card. And we also have the option for the drop shadow effect. Let me showcase a few card samples. Here's a vertical card with description. Here is a vertical card experience with the header on the top. And here is a horizontal card experience with a long description, no image. 
Now let's take a scenario and let's use the card control to showcase data from a data source. In this case, we'll select a SharePoint document library. I'll create a screen with the responsive container controls. I'll remove the footer in the header container. I'll insert the modern header control. Now in the main container is where I want to insert my cards and that too in a gallery. So I'll insert a vertical gallery. The layout of this gallery, I'll select blank. The gallery control, alignment in container stretch, flexible height on, so it takes the full height and width available in that responsive container. For data in this gallery, I'll go and connect to my document library in SharePoint. My document library has different types of files, images, PowerPoint decks, PDFs, Word docs, and more. For my gallery data, I'll connect it to my connected documents library. So the items property is my document library. Now I'll edit this gallery and insert the modern card control. Now I'm trying to make this responsive. The card control, I'll position it at the top left. Width, I'll set it to parent.template width. Height, I will set it to parent.template height. The gallery has a wrap count property, one meaning, one column. If I set it to two, it will try and fit the data in two columns and so and so forth. I'm trying to build a responsive screen. So the wrap count I'll drive based upon my screen size. My screen control is called screen two. So get me the size of the screen. Now size dynamically changes depending upon the device that the user is on. For a desktop, it's screen size four, tablet is three, Mobile is one. The gallery, template padding set to 25. So my cards are now equidistantly spaced out. The card control, title, I'll set this as this item dot name. So this will show the name of the file. Subtitle, this item dot the created by users display name. If I want to add more information here, I can concatenate text by using ampersand date when this file was created. I'll use an emoji here, calendar and concatenate with this item dot created image. Here I would like to show the thumbnail of the document. So this item dot thumbnail dot, I'll pick the large size. Header image. Here I'll show an image based on the type of the file. Now the good thing about images and power apps is we can also plug in SVGs here. So I've added some power effects logic wherein it reads the extension of the file. And then based upon the extension of the file, it will show an SVG image. So if I preview this, it shows me all the documents from my document library, the thumbnail, here is the image showcasing the file type, the name, who created the file, what date, what time. I built all of this in a gallery by using a single control, the card control. So you can see how the control adapts to the layout that I as a maker choose to configure, thereby enabling consistent patterns without requiring multiple independent controls. A lot faster for it to render. And this is fully responsive because I'm using a gallery in a responsive container control and the card control has been positioned 
to be responsive. So observe, as the device size and orientation changes, the control automatically adapts itself. Now on select of these cards, let's take an action. So the on select function of the card, I'll use the launch function, launch this item dot link to item preview. I'll select this one, the inspection report. It launches the inspection report. The same card control and gallery logic experience I have utilized here to showcase data from a SharePoint list. My list is called Asset Manager. It has metadata about devices that my organization has procured. Device photo is an image type column. This gallery is connected to my Asset Manager SharePoint list. And once again, just a single card control in my gallery and I have this experience. The card controls image property is set to my image column dot. I can pick the size of the image that I would like to pull. When I select an item, I navigate the user to my form screen. So if the user selects an item, navigates the user to the form screen experience. Here I can see all the details of the item properties, make updates, submit, so a gallery connected form experience, the hero of the gallery in this case being the card control. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.